incisive foramen is located in this little football shaped depression that we'll see just posterior to our upper central incisors in the anterior maxilla. We've all seen this before when we take a PA of our upper central incisors and what we see is in the midline there's a little radiolucency extending between the two centrals. This is typically three to four millimeters in width and it gives rise to the nasal palatine nerve. Now the nasal palatine nerve extends to the canine to the canine and it provides innervation to all that palatal tissue. So for removing any of these six anterior teeth, we can block this nerve using the nasal palatine nerve block, which we'll cover in another video. The other thing that's coming from this foramen is the sphenopalatine artery. So the sphenopalatine artery has branches extending from the foramen to feed the palatal tissues again in the anterior maxilla. We need to be very aware of this anytime we're looking to be doing surgery in the area of the central incisors, whether it be a phrenectomy or maybe a difficult extraction of an upper central incisor. We need to stay away from this area, and if we're going to be getting anywhere near it for some necessary reason, then we need to make sure that we're using epinephrine in our anesthetics to first block this area and cause some vasoconstriction to minimize our bleeding.